It was, it was amazing. Um, when she was born on uh, May 2nd of 2005, she weighed 10 pounds, had a full head of hair. When she came into our lives, she completely turned it upside down, but in a good way. <laughs> she just has a ton of energy and um, likes to get up early and stay up late, and she's just been a blessing to us. My name is Emily. My favorite color is purple, and pink and bluish greenish. She's just a really creative little girl. She loves to draw and paint and do crafts. We think that she's just really strong and really brave because of what she went through. She went through 16 months of chemotherapy. She was supposed to go through a total of 26 months, and we got to 16 months of treatment when we found out that she had relapsed. The chemotherapy didn't work, and our hospital there told us that there wasn't anything else that they could do, and so they said that we could take her home and we would have a few weeks with her, or possibly a few months. It even got to a point where Carrie had to stop doing research because the research showed that she wasn't going to survive. So I, you know, I would set, tell her, no one has done a study on Emily yet. It's not an option not to uh, have a positive outcome here, um, and it's going to happen. Emily came to us in April of 2012. She had been in the hospital for nearly a year and was unable to get into remission. She was the first child enrolled on our protocol. And so we had a lot of doubts as whether the uh, infused killer T cells that we made would be able to keep up with the rapidly progressing leukemia cells. Some parents uh, naturally would think of, I'm, I'm not sure if I just want my child to be a scientific experiment, but uh, trying these experimental studies is what leads to uh, breakthroughs. I had read that immunotherapy was what doctors and researchers were kind of going towards to use your immune system to fight cancer. The way that they explained it to us um, in kind of simple terms was that they would take her T cells out of her blood and that they would um, train them in a lab or that they would send them to boot camp. And then we're gonna put them back into your blood and those cells are gonna find cancer cells in your body and they're gonna get rid of them. They had expected her to get a fever about seven to 10 days after the T cells. She was on a ventilator for two weeks, but once she got on the ventilator, I think the doctors and researchers realized that it was because the T cells were actually working. My cell phone rang. He looked like he was in a daze and he was just staring at his phone. And I said, what's wrong? There must be something wrong. And he said, no. He said, Dr. Grupp just called me and he said, the T-cells worked. He said, she's in remission. It's been uh, uh, an amazing uh, journey for me. It's, it's been over 20 years that I've been working on this. So that's obviously very rewarding. Um, there's still a lot to do. It's, it's a remarkable time in immunotherapy today. Uh, just a few years ago, I think there was still some skepticism that this area would be a uh, viable way to treat cancer. And today, there really isn't any doubt that these types of treatments hold enormous promise for a wide variety of cancers. The exciting thing is we now have a lot of tools in the toolbox where before we didn't have these kind of potent uh, targeted immune therapies. For 60 years, our scientists have worked relentlessly to unlock the secrets of the immune system with the goal of understanding how to use its power against cancer. After decades of laboratory studies and clinical trials, we now have new treatments that are producing real successes. And this is just the beginning. It's really exciting to be part of this revolution now, where we're seeing entirely new ways, and I think we'll see one day the end of cancer. Yeah, it was um, June 1st of 2012. She was discharged from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. When we left, um, some people from our community here in Phillipsburg said, could you keep us updated on your way home? I said, oh, okay, sure. And we came into town and, and I would guess that there was more than a thousand people standing in the rain to, uh, to welcome us home. This is um, the first year that she's gone back to school where she has a full head of hair and it's just really exciting to see her being excited about going back to school and being with our friends and just um, being able to have a normal childhood again. Just like, she's just like every other child now. I hope that one day, you know, when you're diagnosed with cancer, that they can say, we're gonna give you 
this treatment and in a couple of weeks your cancer is going to be gone. And you know, we used to give we used to give people this diagnosis and it, and it used to take years to get to finally say that your cancer is in remission or that your cancer is cured. And now we can do it in just a couple of weeks or a couple of months um, with very few side effects. I mean, that would be that would be amazing.